In a chilling moment of life and death, Anhyosiap found himself locked in a desperate struggle with the killer who had brought violence and terror to the hospital. The weight of the gun pressed against his temple, an icy reminder of the imminent danger he faced. Sweat trickled down his brow, mingling with the fear that coursed through his veins, yet within that terrifying predicament, an unexpected surge of resilience ignited within him, as Hyosiap stared into the eyes of his assailant, a complex mix of emotions swirled within him. In that intense gaze, he saw not only the darkness and malice that fueled the killer's actions, but also a flicker of humanity struggling against the grip of violence. It was a profound moment of connection, an unspoken recognition that there was more at stake than just their own lives. Summoning every ounce of courage within him, Hyosiap mustered the strength to rise from his vulnerable position. It was an act of defiance, a testament to his unwavering spirit and his refusal to succumb to the terror that sought to envelop him. The killer, momentarily caught off guard by this unexpected display of defiance, faltered for a fleeting moment, his grip on the gun loosening as doubt crept into his mind, in that infinitesimal pause. Yosiap seized the opportunity to appeal to the killer's humanity. His voice, steady and resolute, resonated with a profound compassion and understanding. He spoke not only of his own life, but of the lives that hung in the balance, both within the hospital and beyond its walls. He pleaded for an end to the cycle of violence, offering a glimpse of hope and redemption, as the words hung in the air, time seemed to stand still. The weight of the moment hung heavy, the outcome hanging on a knife's edge. And then, in an astonishing turn of events, the killer's grip on the gun relaxed, completely. The weapon that had once threatened to snuff out Yosiap's life was now lowered, the killer's eyes betraying a mix of